Am I, are we good? No, how come I don't have any? Oh, there. Hello? Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Rhode Island Interscholastic League matchup between the Tollgate Titans and the Blackstone Valley Pet Prep Cougars. Uh, out here on soccer playoff night. Uh, Matt Jolis is going to be uh, broadcasting for you this evening. We're just getting things ready. Wanted to go over, uh, let them play RI. Uh, you can go to sfbnri.com and you can check out our merch for Let Them Play RI. Support the movement for Sports Fan Base Network Rhode Island and to help our students get on the field. Again, let them play R.I. Also, the blind guy, you can go to theblindguyonline.com. Marcus Stevenson, the owner, he'll do a great job for you. If you have, if you need new blinds, window shades, uh, not windows, <laughs> he'll yell at me. And then shades and shutters. Uh, Marcus is going to help you out. Just go to theblindguyonline.com and put in your request. What is it? Totally Kids. Totally Kids in Warwick Daycare. They just use their, it just says use their names. Tom, it just, yeah, it says they use their informal names rather than their names on the card. Tom Flanders, Bob Mattello. That's it. It doesn't have a whole read. All right, we want to thank our sponsors for this evening. Uh, we have Gallo Thomas, Gallo Thomas Insurance. Robert Batello is the vice president. You can give him a call. 5, extension 325. You can find him at robertbatello at gallothomas.com. 401 Arnold, Arnold Road, Coventry, Rhode Island, Gallo Thomas Insurance Company. So we want to thank them for being a proud sponsor of the live stream here this evening. And also, Envious Properties, 134 Park Avenue, Cranston, Rhode Island, Thomas Flanders, Tom Flanders Realtor at gmail.com. You can get them at 401-744-5261 for all your home ownership needs. And I am going to hand the the broadcast over to our special broadcaster, in-house, Matt Jolis. Thanks, Ron, and we're underway here in the first half of action. Blackstone Valley Prep in the white and purple jerseys, Tollgate in the all-white kits with the blue numbers. Blackstone Valley moving right to left on your screen out of the backfield. Progressive play opportunity here, moving up on the outside touchline. 1v1 battle there, defensive play. Blackstone trying to make tapped away here now. Picked up here for Tollgate. Controlled for a second by Victoria Halstead. Popped out of play. Controlled now here by 
Cassie Sorella. Goes back in and then sent back out. Switch of play here and controlled by Lucy Norris. Sends down the line. Norris will have the throw in. Norris. Midfield play. Picked up. Now sent back. And it'll play. It's all up. Okay. Picked by Sorella. You're welcome, no problem. Sent back to the touchline. Deep throw by Allie. We've been live for 15 minutes. Are, are, are they going to the right place? Now throw a play by Sorella. Sorella trying to gain control here. Runs out on the touchline. Norris. Are we live or am I crazy? Norris. Now tapped down. Halstead tries to throw it back in the midfield. Controlled for a second by Dutra. Dutra gets an overlap run for Sorella. Sorella right here at the top of the 18. Swings the ball inside and it squibs just to the left of the cage. Six restart here. Goes all the way back and shepherded out of play, and it'll be a Titans throw in coming from Madison Lodge. Lodge inside. Tapped off for a second by the BVP defense. Now back in an overlap play. Dutra has an opportunity. Sorella. Sorella controlling here, top back for Dutra, right at the six. Sorella in a 1v1 battle, squibs it across and it gets just off of the right side of the post and is called a corner. Shot on frame, going just wide again. And the Titans are knocking on the door. Early stages, first half. Kicked away here. Controlled middle by Yellman. Pops back out for Lodge. Lodge sending it back into the midfield. This is now controlled by Leah Fortin. Comes across midfield. Dutra throws one on frame. And it comes right to the center and then is scooped up to safety. By Mackenzie Pawson. Kicked right to midfield and then squibbing away from all comers and it will get picked up by Juliana Rowe for the throw in. Midfield now for Sorella. Sorella taps away for Dutra. Dutra has run of frame and she squibs on the outside of her foot, the kick. Mackenzie Dutra is gonna want that one back. Sorry, excuse me, Olivia Dutra is going to want that one back. Now it comes down. Opportunity for Gianna Da Silva. That just might be my signal. No, it's not. It does it a little. A little, little. A cold and blustery night here in Warwick, Rhode Island. Mid-November playoff soccer between Blackstone Valley Prep and Tollgate High. T 
Titans. Thank you all for tuning in on the Sports Fan Base Network, Rhode Island. This is Sorella. Dumped down on the play there was a defender for Blackstone Valley and shepherded out of play. Blackstone Valley throw inbounds into four Titans defenders and now trying to get anything they can to work in the alley. But it's shepherded out for a Titans throw. Midfield here. And a 50-50 ball, a little too much body on the play and so a free kick coming for Lucy Norris. Norris takes her steps back. Sending one deep into the lower third. Hits right into the center and off of the body of Abigail Alborg. Blackstone Valley trying to break that back four of the Titans defense. Midfield for Sorella. Sorella making a turn here. Trying to connect with the forward running Dutra. Back for Madison Lodge. Lodge tried to go on the outside touch line looking for Cianello. Instead it's picked up by Norris. Now run of play midfield here. Coming on hard was Olivia Lopes. And it is kicked away to safety. trying to get anything she can. Instead, it's cleared away by the Titans' defense. Now they try to reinsert Norris. Taps back for a second, was controlled by Munera Guz, and now the Titans trying to release up forward. Cirella had it. Back to Adeline Harrison. Sent back in by Carrie Yellman. Shot on goal, tapped away. Opportunity for Leah Fortin. And a throw in coming for Blackstone. About 10 minutes into the first half of play here. No score on the board on this RIIL playoff game. It's going to be a lower third throw for the Titans after the substitution. As Madison Lodge will head off. Placed by Samantha Laurent. Throw doesn't gain the field of play, and so Blackstone Valley has a throw. Laurent. Cianiello. And another substitution as Carrie Yellman will trot off. Send him by Laurent. Bounces one time and then picked up to safety by Pawson. Kicked away, controlled for a second by Norris. Norris trying to go in a 1v1 battle here and all that 
the Titans defense can do is shepherd it out of bounds and Norris will have a throw. Norris deep throw deflects off of the head of Cianello. Comes back, midfield control now. Cianello has a chance to turn on the alleyway. Now to Dutra. Back midfield. Outside line. Titans trying to control on the line with Laurent. Norris. Midfield throw. Titans trying to release on the outside touchline now. Sent back into play by Zambrano. Up to Minera Goez. Run a play here for Lopes in the midfield. Taken off of the play by Arison to Dutra at center. Picked up here now by Sorella. Sorella has an easily leading pass. Running on play was Leia Fortin. Back again in the center. Titans controlling the ball through the center. Trying to switch field now. Run over top of that. And here's a 1v1 chance. Opportunity available. Tripped up on the play. Lisa Medina has a run. And it shepherded off and out of play in a deep lower third throw coming up. The Titans will have to try to work out of their backfield now. Real estate, got it. Deep throw here for the Titans. Right on the byline alley. Clips off. Dutra trying to control in the backfield now. Sent up just for a moment to Sorella. Sorella long pass play, tipped over. And Blackstone Valley has to back up for a second. Now finally controlled by Norris. Norris in a 1v1 battle. Runs into a sandwich of Titans defenders in both Cianello and Dutra. So with the obstruction called, it will be Norris with the restart. Sends it midfield. Marked hard with Zambrano. Turnover forced and now again the Titans trying to release Cianella. Got Sorella right midfield. Dutra, Dutra, another one on frame. Dutra has had four shots right on goal. All scooped up, needing just a little bit more oomph to those. All scooped up, needing just a little bit more oomph to those. Now here's a ball controlled midfield. Chance opportunity. Frame shot, top corner, and a goal by Cassie Cirella. The Titans have been knocking on the door for the last five minutes. They've been trying to go from the outside angle of that six. And this time, Cassie Sorella puts it upper 90. Tollgate's on the board, 1-0. Blackstone Valley prep. That's Blackstone Valley. Titans. That's Tollgate. Oh, is? BVP is... Oh, Wait, which 
So Tolgi getting an early hit up one nothing. Now here's a kick again. Long ball from Cirella who just put one to the back of the net. Here's Cirella. Taps on the outside. Picked up again by Cuncio. On the outside line. Allen Arison. Booted away to midfield. Cuncio. Flicks outside and then Fugundes has a chance here. All she can do is shepherd it to the touchline and it's going to be a Blackstone throw. For those of you watching online on sfbnri.com that might be a little bit confused about what you're seeing on the field, yes, that is Tolgate in a purple jersey, a shaded purple jersey as well, too, fading from hard purple to white at the bottom. A little something different than what we normally see out of the Titans. Blackstone Valley Prep in the all-white kits with the black numbers and the BVP on the front of their jersey. Who knew in high school soccer that we had alternate third jerseys, but the Titans coming out with something special for the playoffs tonight. Here's the Titans' backfield defense now clearing out to the outside line. Run of play here on the alley if she can control it and it skips just over the line. Morgan Cianello had an opportunity. Long throw here. It goes right into the back of Norris and Titans will have the ball. Short throw. Lands right in front of Cianello. Now comes back, controlled in the backfield for a second by Leah Fortin. Over for Norris. Norris trying again. This time gets it onto De Silva. And now here's Titans with a run on the outside. Zambrano takes that over, sending it into the backfield before it pops back out into midfield and an opportunity for Dutra to advance. Back and forth, midfield play. Neither team wanting to try to seed their lower third. It's going to come back across. Here's De Silva with a run through the Titans defense, going to the outside corner. It's pushed away on the touchline out of play and a stoppage of play as we've reached the midpoint of the first half in the RIWL mandated mask break. I want to take a moment to thank some of our sponsors tonight. Grayson's Auto Works, Automotive Marine, Commercial, Residential, and Mobile Professional Window Film Installation and Removal Services Available, Police, Fire, and Military Discounts Available. Call 401-378-3845, Grayson's Auto Works, where quality, style, and performance meets affordability. Got tint? Also want to thank Envious Properties Real Estate. Envious Properties located in Cranston, Rhode Island. Thomas Flanders and Associates. Contact them today for all of your real estate property needs. 
reach them at 401-744-5261 or Thomas Flanders Realtor at gmail.com. That's MBS Properties Real Estate in Cranston, Rhode Island. <laughs> Holgate got one on the board off the foot. From Cirella. Now here is a run of play opportunity again. Right in the midfield of action. Cirella trying to go for another one. Ciarella goes body to body with the Blackstone defender. And a free kick for Blackstone. Hey everyone, this is Ron Robert, president of the Sports Fan Base Network Rhode Island. Just wanted to uh, jump in here with my, my great friend Matt Jolis and we got our amazing cameraman Mason Belcher going here and uh, we wanted to really quick give a, a, a short explanation for the purple jerseys for Tollgate. Um, Gianna Sorella, uh, a former uh, Tollgate soccer player, her sister is actually on the team. Her mother kind of organized things to get us here tonight and uh, Gianna lost her life to sepsis. A uh, couple of years ago, and it was a it was a huge thing in the city of, the, of Warwick. A lot of broken hearts, and she was just such a great girl. And her family is such a great family. So, Tollgate wears these jerseys, and I'll be totally honest with you. I was, you know, I I, I was confused about it for a second, and I said, Oh, that Gianna, um, I, you know, not that we forgot about her, but I just didn't realize they were wearing them because of her. So I wanted to bring that to light to everyone while we're on the stream. It's an honor to. Uh, be streaming this playoff game for Tollgate. Um, the you know it's been a great match so far, Matt. Uh, doing a great job calling the game, and uh, you know uh, our heart goes out to the Sorella family and the whole Tollgate uh, girls soccer family. When Cassie Sorella has the goal tonight for Tollgate, that has them up one nothing at the moment. As we come out of the mask break, you'll see that again in the second half of action part of the RIIL return to play rules that were put in place that are allowing us to have some of the fall sports that we have here in the state of Rhode Island. Shepherded out of play there by Arison. Cassie Ciarella, senior striker, one of the three captains on this team along with Madison Lodge and Aaron McKinnon. Blackstone Valley trying to inch down the field here, gaining yardage with every throw that they can as the Titans' defense is on its back heels for the moment. And again, they shepherd it out of play and another throw in. Picked up here by Halstead. Fourth throw in in a row. This one's gonna go a little deeper into the field of play now and it's controlled in the midfield and sent back out onto the field of Mackenzie Costa. Costa tries to go 1v1 against Alley. Throw in opportunity. Costa now trying to release Sorella up top. Here's Sorella right at the top of the 18. Sorella with a shot kind of squibs through and goes wide to the right. And 
and a six for Blackstone. Oh, no, no. We'll, we'll talk after. Sorella with an opportunity here on frame and an offsides called at the last second. Cassie Sorella, Gianna Sorella's sister, already has a goal, uh, as Matt had called previously, and uh, she's trying to have a game tonight. Six yard all the way back up to midfield. Trolled over here by Rowe. Sent back in. Blackstone Valley has dropped six in the backfield now. Almost playing a 4-3 from the back. And they just send this one all the way deep. They have one sh true striker at the moment. Here's Norris. Outside for Lopes. Comes back. Sorella is sitting on the doorstep. She is the lone purple jersey across the opposite side of the 50. Row. Yellman pushed off the play there and it squibs out of bounds before anyone else touches it. Now a throw deep and a player dumped down in the backfield, picks it up and sends it back out. And then they're going to shepherd this one to go and it's trips over for a second and is cleared off of the line. Great defensive mindset there. Little mishap in the cage. And it looked to be Leah Fortin back there with the mindset to push it away. This time is picked up cleanly and cleared to safety. Coming down for Costa. Zambrano. Right back in and scooped up one more time. Try to clear the opposite direction now. It's Fagundes. Shepard it out of the touchline. Titans throw. Midfield, controlled inside of four purple jerseys sent back up, just out of the reach of Ciarella who wasn't able to cross over in time. Now controlled again, shepherded across for Costa. Costa bumped off play, gets it over. On the overlap run opportunity is Marinelli. And it's sent to the corner and outside of the touch line. So we're going to get a throw just at about the 18. Crossing opportunity right at the top evades Sorella. Trolled by Cianello. Cianello going to the byline. Cross opportunity again. This time it's picked up on a run in by Dutra. Had a run in. Then a long kick from Fagundes. And it's deflected back over and then scooped up by Pawson. Kicked away, headed up into the air by Yellman. Back down now here and controlled by Norris. Sent away by the Titans midfield and just allowed to be let out by Alley. Lawrence. 
body to body there and Dutra pushes it through and it goes off of her last. Isabella Alley, another throw. Tapped away. Cianella and then Halstead. Now Fagundes. Controlled here by Cirella. Cirella switching field using Gelman to row. Back midfield and then sent in to the attacking third. Opportunity there for Cirella again and a tie up between Dutra and a Blackstone player has her dumped to the turf. About five minutes left to go in this first half. Just the one goal on the board from Cassie Ciarella has Tollgate leading one nothing. Opportunity here, Halstead tries to control. Now onto the foot of Medina. Medina has a run for Blackstone Valley and she cannot curl it and it heads straight outside the byline. Time now here for the Titans' progressive play from the backfield. Cianello picked off by Norris and Alley. And if they can keep this on the line, which they do, it is Cianello, and she's actually able to connect with Sorella. Sorella with a run here, dispossessed for a moment before it's recollected by the midfield. Cianello has it. Cianello is going to go. She gets around and is bumped into by Isabel Alley and will get a free kick from about 20 yards out. Just on the outside line of the 18. It's going to be Reagan Allen who's going to come over to take the kick. First time we've called Reagan Allen's name tonight, the sophomore defender over top of the ball for this toll gate free kick. Taking time, letting the referee set the 10 yards. She's got Cianella on the doorstep, along with Sorella. Allen, hard kick right to the eight. She went straight for that upper 90 post. And all that Pawson could do is be able to paw it out of play for a corner and Allen will attempt this one from the corner now. Can she curl again? Allen right up top onto the head! Right at the top of the six. She had two teammates both in the six with an opportunity for a header on it. And it gets sent the other way. Now here's Dutra. Comes back out controlled for a second by Medina. And then to Norris, who is obstructed on the play and so a restart. Controlled down here now, Dutra. Dutra with run of play here. Decides to drop back for Cianello. Cianello 1v1 battle with Zambrano. Stepped over and now she's the defending player. Now Zambrano has it right at the line, tiptoeing it and she tries to go across field but Halstead intercepts. Dutra tapping over to Yelman. Back into the center. Dutra now stepping up. Yelman's right there. Norris has it for Blackstone Valley, trying to advance up front, releasing for De Silva. It goes out of play on the opposite side touchline. 
and a slew of substitutions for the Titans. Should be inside of last few minutes of play here. Official times always kept on the field by the center referee, so our clocks are estimated. And here's Cirillo with another opportunity, and it pops over top of Pawson and goes just out of play. Cirella's got one already tonight, looking for a second and would put Tolgate two to the good right at the half. Controlled now here by Arison. Tapped out by Blackstone Valley. In the midfield, Costa. Switchfield opportunity for Ariana. Or Samantha Warrant, sorry. Now controlled here by Dutra. Dutra right at the top of the arc. Pushes over. Tapped back. Now Fagundes again tries to re-enter the zone and it squibs outside of the byline. Opportunity here for Norris. Tries to send it midfield. That's tapped down by Dutra. Fagunda's had a stab at it. Now it comes back and finally lands onto the foot of De Silva. She tries to send it up. Sent out of bounds on the tap from Fortin. So a throw in from De Silva here in the waning minutes of the first half. Actually, she's going to drop that back for a second. And Isabella Alley is going to make the throw. Right into the center to Zambrano. Comes back over. And a run of play here for Dutra now. 1v1 against the goaltender. Dutra just wide to the right. Olivia Dutra's had two 1v1 opportunities against the goaltender and has just been a little too much to the outside of her boot. She'll definitely be looking to correct that during halftime. Controlled here one more time into the back third. As Munera goes, trying to progress it out for Blackstone Valley. Gets it on to Medina. Medina's bothered right there on the play. Now they go switch field on the outside. Hard run. Zambrano. Defended 1v1 there. Comes back for Norris. Comes back and stays just inside. Here's Ciarella. Ciarella defended by two Blackstone players. Ciarella still has it. And Ciarella's dumped down right outside the 18 in the free kick. Right from about the seam spot. Allen had the last one, and we'll see if Reagan Allen can curl this one this time around. And actually, Allen's going to step away. And this time it's going to be Cianello. Cianello, hard kick, right up top. Cianello's got it! A curling knuckleball goal from Morgan Cianello has the Titans up. Two to the good, right at the half. Yeah, 
Reagan Allen had stepped over top of the ball at the last second. The coaches waved her off. Morgan Cianello steps up and And that is a highlight real goal. That ball was a sinker. Titans one more time here with a throw. And that's going to be the whistle and the half. So Cassie Ciarella puts one in. And then one right before the end of the half on a knuckleball from Morgan Cianello. Tollgate leads 2-0 over Blackstone Valley Prep at the half. We're going to take this opportunity at the half of this Rhode Island Interscholastic League matchup between the Tollgate Titans and the Blackstone Valley Prep Cougars to uh, show some love to a couple of our sponsors. Can you pull that up? First, we're going to go over the merch line for Let Them Play R.I. Right. It's hashtag Let Them Play R.I. Right. I just need to see Let them play RI. You can go to the sfbnri.com and find your Let Them Play RI merchandise. Wear it proudly. Let's represent our student athletes in Rhode Island. The blind guy, the blind guy online.com, owner Marcus Stevenson can take care of all your blinds, shades, curtains, and anything else you might need. You just go to the blind guy online.com and put in your request and he'll get back to you. Envious Property Realties. I love you. So Envious Property, every Envious Property Real Estate, 134 Park Ave, Cranston, Rhode Island. You want to get in touch with uh, owner Tom Flanders? You can go to Tom Flanders Realtor at gmail.com 4017445261. Parents in Coventry, Rhode Island. Well, we appreciate them coming on board and helping out with these streams. Gallo Thomas Insurance, Vice President Robert Batello. You can get him at rbatello at gallothomas.com. They're on 401 Arnold Avenue, Coventry, Rhode Island. Go check them out for all your insurance needs. Thank you to, your, to our sponsors, and this is going to be halftime of the Rhode Island Interscholastic League matchup between the Tollgate Titans and the Blackstone Valley Prep. Cougars, Matt Jolis is going to be back in just a few moments. Stay tuned.
That whistle brings us back into second half action, RIIL girls soccer playoffs. Tollgate two to the good as we start the second half on goals by Cassie Ciarella and a knuckleballer by Morgan Cianello right before the half. Titans in the faded purple to white jerseys, Blackstone Valley Prep in the all white with the black numbers and the Titans jerseys are a special edition jersey in honor of Cassie's sister, Gina Ciarella. Gianna Ciarella. Gianna Ciarella, thank you. <laughs> no, no, no problem. So yeah, so the Tollgate Titans are wearing purple jerseys this evening in honor of Gianna Ciarella, uh, former Tollgate soccer player. Uh, her sister's on the team. Her mom actually organized us being here for Tollgate tonight, so great job to Mrs. Sorella. Uh, we were actually just talking to her, Matt and I, at, at halftime here, and we, it was like almost, it was almost touching. Uh, and an opportunity at Blackstone has one back wow. on a long shot from just inside the 18 by Gianna De Silva. Oof. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> That is live sports. That's yeah. how it happens all the time. So, uh, and, and, you know, we just wanted to uh, bring light to the fact that Togi, uh, who is usually white, blue, and red, uh, is wearing purple jerseys this evening in honor of Gianna, uh, who lost her life to sepsis just a couple years ago. And it was a huge blow uh, to the city of Warwick, whether it be Pilgrim, uh, whether it be Tollgate, whether it be Hendricken, it didn't matter which school, you know, everybody took it really tough. So um, just wanted to give a shout out to them and let everyone know why they were wearing purple jerseys. Now here's an opportunity here for Yelman midfield. Drop it into the back and control a progression of play that's actually tipped over by Zambrano. Zambrano gets an interception there and puts it on to, to Silva. It's popped out of play off the touchline, and so Zambrano will have a throw. Actually, she's going to leave this for Isabella Alley to make the throw. Apologies for that moment as the uh, control booth is sending us the overlays of one of our sponsors tonight, Gala Thomas Insurance, in the middle of play. And here we are back in action in an opportunity shot here from Harrison. Controlled back in a try right on the edge of the line, Juliana Rowe. Controlled here now by Medina. Taps it over for Zambrano. De Silva had it for a second before it drops back to Norris. She tries to restart moving Lopes up. 1v1 battle on the sideline there with Halstead. Drops back for Rowe and she miss hits a little bit. Norris has it. Switchfield play. Trying to connect with Zambrano. Can't get it. It's now going the other way on the foot of Dutra. Oh, off the side of the head. And in this cold November evening, that's going to sting a little bit. Always good to see players up and walking off under their own power. A 
couple of substitutions for Blackstone Valley. Really quick, just want to give a shout out to our sponsors, Envious Properties, Envious Properties Real Estate, Tom Flanders. You can find Tom Flanders at 401-744-5261. And we're in the middle of some action right now. There's Medina with a run here on the touchline, trying to cross midfield. She's got a player in Leanne Aguilar right in the center. They were unable to connect and it's pushed back out. Cianello has an opportunity here to run up the alley. She can release Dutra in the center along with Kari Yellman as well. Pops out of the touchline. Onto Dutra. Back for Cianello. Dutra to the corner runs out of real estate and she'll just let it go. It's going to be a Blackstone throw. Dutra. One more time. And back to about the same spot. Also want to give a special shout out to our sponsor, Gallo Thomas Insurance. Robert Patello, Vice President. You can find him at rbatello at gallothomas.com. You can also find him at 401 Arnold Road, Coventry, Rhode Island, 02816, Gallo Thomas Insurance. Blackstone Valley now. Progressive opportunity for them. Swings outside and is just shepherded out of play. If anyone didn't know, we are in Warwick and we're right next to the airport. <laughs> As you hear the planes <laughs> flying just over top of the press box here at the Warwick Veterans Middle School Complex. And here's Cianello. Another opportunity here. Cross and an opportunity for Cassie Sorella. Of play. Not to jump in here, Matt, but I uh, really wish you would have went far post lower 90. Hey, let's go, Cassie. Opportunity there, and she ended up looking like she was trying to turn and instead hit that a little too straight on. As mentioned, she does already have one in the books tonight. She got the goal scoring started for Tollgate. Midway through the first half, added to it right at the end by Morgan Cianello. Here's Warrant. A little too much on it, and just out of the reach of Addie Harrison. Knuckleball sent up. Arison heads it in. Sorella on the doorstep of the 18 again. Now here's Arison trying to get back through and dumped down on the play, and we'll get a restart. Blackstone defensive line a little bit too pushy. So Reagan Allen here with the free kick. About 40 out. Not likely to be going to goal here, but will likely be going for something around the 12. As there are three purple jerseys right at the spot. And Allen to the 12. This one actually goes a little bit further, gets behind, and it's right off of the goal line. Scramble of play and then kicked back over. They've had the keepers on this end of the field, Matt, have had some trouble getting their hands on the ball tonight. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if it's a uh, grass issue as this is a bit of a choppy field, but we've seen both sides, both keepers, having issue with control and trying to make saves right at the goal line. Picked up now here by Arison. Drops back for Laurent. Midfield for Kunzio. A little 
bit of interference there and we'll have a restart. Norris sends it midfield, tap down. Turn of play here. Aronson, midfield, Dutra, long ball, pops back out. Opportunity again for Sorella and she cannot turn before she hits the byline. And there's that problem again, Matt. Keeper not able to get their hands on the ball. Uh, deflection and the ball squibs around in front of the cage. It's presented at least opportunities for Tolgi to try to get a rebound, but they've been unable to put one. They are two to the good still though. Check that, I'm sorry, I forgot Blackstone's goal, so it's two to one. Oh, and it hits the crossbar over top of the crossbar of the soccer net, which is related to the other type of football, and so a six for Blackstone Valley. She put it off the field goal post. I think Blake Simpson's out here in the in the crowd somewhere, he might be trying to recruit himself a kicker. Well, he had a kicker in the previous game in Madison Alves. <laughs> so we've already seen football kickers playing tonight. <laughs> Here's outside for Aronson. Sent back into the midfield. Flicked on for Dutra. Sorella bodies through, 1v1. Pokes it, goes right to the corner, pops up, and again, Cirilla right there at the post. Cirilla wants one more. Popped up for Lopes. Flicks it forward. Intercepted by Laurent. Aronson. Midfield. Another good shot. Coming right off of Dutra. I've been impressed with Dutra and Sorella tonight for Tolgate in the front. I mean, they're a force. They're a force. One thing I'd like to point out is Dutra's got some wheels, right? She comes across the field. When she comes after the ball, uh, there's 100% aggression there, and she comes flying in there. Uh, I've been pretty impressed with those two. The aforementioned Olivia Dutra going right to the byline there. Cross opportunity batted down by Pawson and controlled this time. Back out to the midfield, Norris. Flicks forward for Fagundes. She had a little bit too much body on the 50-50, so an obstruction call. Restart for Norris. Long ball, right at the edge of the lower third. Now batted out for a second, controlled and pushed through the midfield. Comes all the way back in a miss kick, and here comes a run of play. Oh, and a collision between both Cassie Ciarella and a backtracking Blackstone defender. That was a, uh, you know, a pretty hard collision. Now, I'm going to say, uh, anyone who's been watching some of our streams over the past couple weeks, we've done quite a bit of girls' soccer. And uh, these girls play, right? These girls are not taking it easy. Anyone who thinks just because it's girls' soccer, it's something different, these girls get down and dirty. And that was one heck of a collision right there. And if you think there isn't competition in women's soccer just across the board. It goes from high school all the way up to college. If you saw Florida State upsetting number one North Carolina the other night in the ACC championship just shows you to go. No matter what level you're at, they play hard. And with that being said, if you want to talk about girls who play hard, tune in to Play Like a Girl every Monday on the Sports Fan Base Network, Rhode Island. This week, Marisol Nugent, We'll be back. There was some uh, 
technical difficulties with the with the girls last week as far as like on Marisol's end. Laura and Gianna still ran a great show. Marisol Nugent, first ever female wrestler at Lehigh University, uh, 2020 All American. Uh, this girl's got a resume too long to talk about right now. We don't have enough time. Catch her Monday night, eight o'clock. Play like a girl on all SFBNRI platforms. Part of the slew of original programming outside of the live streams that we have on Sports Fan Base Network Rhode Island. Check out sfbnri.com for more information. And again, Envious Properties Realty is a uh, proud sponsor of our streams this evening. Uh, that is Thomas Flanders. You can find him at 401-744-5261. Tom Flanders from Envious Properties Real Estate. Also, Gallo Thomas Insurance. You can find Gallo Thomas Insurance on 401 at 401 Arnold Road, Coventry, Rhode Island. Vice President Robert Patello can be reached at rbatello at gallothomas.com. Gallo Thomas Insurance, Coventry, Rhode Island. It's the freshman left back Avery Walton who was in that collision with Cassie Ciarella and Walton up and walking off on her own power. Always something good to see as the Titans trot back out onto the field. Blackstone Valley will take just another moment to recollect themselves as they will join the action. Again, I want to give a shout out to our SFBNRI team out here in the cold, uh, doing a great job trying to deliver high school sports in the state. And I know the game before this one, we had some technical difficulty. We were able to finally figure it out and present this game. But you can go back to our YouTube channel, right, Matt? You want to tell everybody where they can find the street, uh, the uh, games tonight? If you go to sfbnri.com, you can click either the watch live button at top or the live streams button in our menu bar. It will take you to the SFBNRI YouTube page. Every game that we have streamed throughout the season is available on demand. So just click that red watch live button or the live streams button on the menu bar on sfbnri.com and you will be able to see each and every game from the RIIL playoffs and past games from the regular season action available on demand. Here's Juliana Rowe with the ball at midfield. Taps back into the lower third. Again, controlled out by the defense for the Titans. This time onto the foot of Abigail Alborg. Scoops up for Dutra. Chance opportunity for Sorella. Right into the goaltender. Scripped back across as Pawson popped it out. And Abigail Alborg had an opportunity that goes just to the left of the post. That was one heck of a play. And I mean, the, you got to give some credit to the keeper for Blackstone Valley Prep. She came out in traffic and took care of business. Six yard kick comes right out about 20 yards and then is trapped down by Costa. Swinging kick in. Pawson has a problem with this one and it gets to the line. Is it a cross? It is! And they mob Addie Harrison who was just making an in-swinging kick to the box. And instead it tipped over Pawson's hands, squid to the line, and just made it across. You know what we talked about earlier? The keepers on the end of the field were really having a hard time getting their hands on the ball. It was bound to happen. Tollgate 3-1 over Blackstone, and now I can reclaim my comment of them being two to the good. <laughs> Just about midway through this second half of action. And another collision midfield here. Some Brano taking a tumble. No.
Norris again with a restart. Norris gets it right to the 18. Tapped over by De Silva. Looking for Zambrano. Zambrano flicks one up and it's going to go out the back line for a Titan six. Short opportunity for Rowe. They will go to her right at the touchline. Has a chance to up to Arison. Instead, she goes midfield option. They tried to go to Fortin. Now to Arison. Up the line. Kicked away for a brief second. Now right on the back line. Rowe has it. Arison pops up. And Arison's unable to control it at the touchline. Be held for a second before a throw in. Long throw right to the 18. Comes back again. Cross opportunity. That's blocked away by Alborg. To Rowe. Comes all the way up. Tapped away. Midfield to Silva. Trying to switch for Zambrano. Zambrano is bodied off of the ball there. Turned and controlled by Costa. Center for Alborg. Alborg's going to release Aronson on the outside line. With beautiful leading pass. Overlap run by Aronson. She has no help, though. She's going to take it herself. Through two defenders to the 18. Shot to score. Addie Aronson adds her second to the game on a beautiful 1v1 play. Splitting two Blackstone defenders. And it's 4-1 Tollgate. Cirilla Cianello, and now two by the freshman midfielder Addie Arison has Tollgate 4 1 with about 17 minutes left to go. Ball dribbles in the backfield. Zambrano tried to get there quickly, she was unable to do so. Titans have the ball one more time. Switch field. Alborg. Now for Dutra. Alborg again. Pops back out. Trying to go for Arison on the outside again. Arison has a touchline. Switches right into the center. If it can get picked up, does not. Fortin has it, and it comes back out for Arison, who tries to curl one. When you've got a hot foot, you keep going. And Addy Arison is heated up right now. This is Norris. Releasing outside to Zambrano. Zambrano bumped off the ball, but De Silva gets it in a flick on frame. Substitutions coming in for Tolgate. Really quickly take this opportunity to uh, give some love to our sponsors. One, Gallo Thomas Insurance, 401 Arnold Road, Coventry, Rhode Island. Check them out at Gallo Thomas Insurance. Here's Cirello with an opportunity down in the outside area and it's pushed just out of play. Envious Real Estate, Envious Properties. Tom Flanders at Envious Real Estate. You can catch him at 401-744-5261. For all your real estate needs, you can also find him at Tom Flanders Realtor at gmail.com. 
controlled by Rowe. Flick now midfield, Dutra. Dutra curls one back, and that has to be kicked away by Pawson. And a corner kick opportunity coming up for the Titans. So right here, if I was the coach of the Titans, I would be telling my player to hook this corner kick in. Try to see if the goalkeeper can get their hands and flub another shot. They go right to the top of the dot instead. And now an in-swinging kick comes back off of the foot of Halstead, but it is just wide. Scooped up by Pawson. Again, really quick to give a shout out to Tollgate Titans girls soccer team wearing purple this evening in honor of, honor of fallen teammate Gianna Sorella. Uh, Gianna lost her life just a couple of years ago to sepsis, and it was a really tough thing for all the athletes in Warwick, so we wanted to give a shout out to the Sorella family. And uh, nice jerseys, Tollgate. Back here, and Pawson picks up one more time. She's going to settle for a second before she kicks out. Pops over top and picked up now by De Silva. De Silva on the outside. Tries to go back midfield. We're going to play Norris. Gets it up for a step over from Rowe. Rowe contains once again. Bothered there by Medina on the outside. And Rowe loses it at the touchline. And now we're going to get a few more substitutions. Murphy puts it right onto the foot of Santiago into Norris. Scoop to safety. And a throw instead of a kick sends it all the way up about 40 yards and onto the foot of Dutra for a second. And we're going to get a line change substitution for Tollgate as about five different players are going to come onto the field. Tollgate, switch Tollgate, at goal. Given their, uh, Tollgate giving their bench some time in the playoffs right now with a 4-1 lead and uh, it's a classy move by the coach. It is and you tend to do that because it gives a chance for your younger players, your freshmen and sophomores that might not see a lot of varsity time to be able to actually get a chance to say I got to play in the playoffs. Here's a kick in from Alborg. It also helps to take your foot off the gas against a team that's down by three. Turning play opportunity here coming onto the outside line for Fortin and dribbles out of the byline. De Silva trots off for Blackstone. Lisa Medina comes back into play. About 10 minutes left to go. Controlled now here by Alborg for a second before she's dispossessed by Norris and Norris is gonna take a dribble herself all the way across switches, gets it over to Zambrano for a second. Zambrano just pushes it down the touchline but runs out of real estate and so, check that, they're gonna actually call the interference as Zambrano did get bumped for a second there on the control and so Norris will have the restart. Matt, want to give a shout out really quick to uh, Warwick Athletic Director Director Ken Ricks uh, for helping to be involved here this evening to help us uh, to broadcast Pilgrim uh, versus 
Cranston West. Cranston West and Tollgate versus Blackstone Valley Prep here. Given his, and we were also here to uh, record uh, the field hockey game earlier between Tollgate and Rocky Hill. So we're going to have some great games up on our YouTube channel in just a day or so. I will forgive you for the brain freeze there. It has, uh, been, sorry, a, it has been a long <laughs> week. And it, 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 for those of you who are out there watching this, if you understand how many games in the last seven days we have done, and this is a very small crew for many of us, we have worked just about every single one of these games. I think we're on about the 10th or 11th game yep. over the last seven days. It's been a two weeks straight, <laughs> two weeks straight of um, organizing, planning, broadcasting games all over the state. Uh, we've had Laura Crusoe here with us, Mason Belcher here with us, obviously Matt Joel is here with us, um, and a, a slew of others that are helping behind the scenes, and we're still running all of our podcasts and shows, so uh, kudos to my team. I, I, I couldn't be uh, happier and more proud of them. And uh, just so everyone knows, and, and anyone who's dealt with us and booked us, everyone knows, uh, yes, obviously, uh, you know, we're a business, but we are really here for these kids, and we try to do the best job that we can every time we step out here. And, of course, thanks to Ron, because without him, we wouldn't have this network, and I wouldn't be standing in this press box right now being able to broadcast nice this game you. for you. That was nice of you, Matt. It's, <laughs> so, I mean, usually I get hate mail, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mackenzie Costa here with the ball and an opportunity, and then it's popped back out. Picked up by Fagendas for a second on the touchline. Fagendas is going to try to run at the alley. She has opportunity, free space to the byline. Kicks it right in, and it pops off of the foot of Sophia Lombardi out of bounds. That is off Lombardi across the byline, so it's going to be a Titans corner. I would be remiss to not give my son a shout out, uh, Jacob Robert. Okay, so between Mason and Jacob, they have done the camera work on every game in the last three weeks, uh, and we have done a ton of games. Ball back here, right inside of the frame. Opportunity kicked across, and that is over top. And again, off of the football crossbar by Mackenzie Costa. Envious Properties, we want to thank Tom Flanders for getting behind all the broadcast. I uh, know he, he came from Pilgrim. Uh, we're giving him his shout-outs on the Tollgate stream because Pilgrim had it a little rough on the live stream, but it will be uploaded on YouTube in full high def. It's going to look beautiful. But Tom Flanders, Envious Properties, uh, you can go to TomFlandersRealtor at gmail.com. Lower third action now here. Blackson Valley trying to progressive play up the backfield. Instead, it's blocked back into play by Felicity Butts. Also, Gallo Thomas Insurance, 401 Arnold Road, Cranston, Rhode Island. Uh, you can go down to Gallo Thomas Insurance for all your insurance needs. Uh, 401 Arnold Road, Coventry, Rhode Island. Sent back out here on the touchline. Zambrano trying to release anybody she can. And instead, a hard kick from Allen glances off the head of Medina. And Reagan Allen will trot off the field probably for the last time tonight. She's put in a pretty good game from the right back position including a couple of great free kicks. And yet another substitution as Tollgate is clearing the entirety of its bench tonight. Just about everybody on this roster is going to get in. <laughs> Ball back now. Tapped away by Sorella. Bounces in the midfield as Juliana Sutro Gomez was trotting in. One v one battle midfield now. Norris comes away with it. Tries to switch field. It's tapped away. Norris again. This time it's going to be picked up by Aaron McKinnon.
McKinnon, one of the three senior captains on this team, along with Madison Lodge and Cassie Sierra, would like to see playoff success in their final seasons with the Titans. Four minutes and change left to go. Picked up by Costa. Midfield for Centro Gomez. Gets over the edge of Nika Wade. Back to Aronson and then cleared in again. And Aronson's going to try to run for the end line here. She can't get it, and the tip back to Zambrano cannot be controlled, so it goes out of bounds. And a throw on for Felicity Butts. As the Titans continue to clear their bench. There's Butts. And feel for Nika. Controlled here. Castano to Norris. Cirella. Cirella sends it upfield. That's topped by Satro Gomez. Turnover to De Silva. Comes all the way back and will be jatted on for a second. Backfield control. It's Rosalind Pinto Ramirez. And outside the far side touchline from our broadcast position near side of the benches with about two and change to go. Sent into the backfield Lombardi. Controlled here. Carried through. Opportunity trying to release Castano. A little too far. It's Kylie Whitney in net now for Tolgi. as they reached a 4-1 margin and switched just about everybody from the bench, including the goalkeeper. <laughs> Tollgate's got their uh, second string in for sure. Back again, picked up by Whitney. All the way sent out midfield for Satra Gomez. On the outside line for Felicity Butts. Trying to release Gomez if she had a run opportunity in the alley. And it's a little bit too far of a leading pass. Zambrano. Marinelli. Running play from Healy Randall there. And a collision midfield involving multiple Titans and multiple Blackstone players. No, no, no ball on that play. Uh, that was all body there, Matt. That's what you call a 50-50 where 50 of it was still in the air. This one's going to come all the way down and shepherded back to the goalkeeper. Blocked away by... Cassie Ciarella so that Kylie Whitney can be able to make the pickup. Sent over by Aaron McKinnon and switched back across the field and Faith Kennedy will have the throw. Long ball sent through the midfield of play. 
opportunity here now. Setro Gomez can get a run. It's going to squib right through and be picked up by Pawson. Side of about two minutes to play. Estimated as official time is being kept on the field. Controlled for a second by Zambrano. She taps it through Norris here in the midfield, trying to take a stab at it. Comes all the way back. Tips off of Faith Kennedy. Is back. One more time. Titans trying to make one more run upfield if they can. Gets on the field of Marinelli. Satro Gomez can have a run here. It's going to get shepherded back. Pawson has a control issue again trying to pick up the ball. Kicks it away. Picked up in the midfield. Top of the 18, Satro Gomez gets bumped down, no call. Outside now for Marinelli. Marinelli crossing shot, tapped down by Pawson. Brooklyn Marinelli, the sophomore midfielder, getting some action here in the final throws of the game. Kicked out deep. Now butts with a throw. Gets it to the 18 and a looping shot sent just over top of the crossbar. An early goal in the first half from Cassie Ciarello won right before the half from Morgan Cianello and then a double dose from Addie Aronson, and it's final score. Titans four, Cougars one, and Tollgate's moving on in the RIIO Girls Soccer Playoffs. Okay, we want to thank everyone for uh, bearing with us through a few things, but uh, a great triple header today. Uh, we try to do a lot for Warwick Sports, uh, Tollgate Field Hockey at 3.30, Pilgrim Girls Soccer at 5.30, and Tollgate Girls Soccer at 7.30. Warwick Victorious in all three? Victorious in all three. Warwick Victorious in all three, so they're all moving on. Uh, it was an honor and a privilege for us to be able to broadcast for Matt Jolis, for Mason Belcher, for Jacob Robert, and for myself, Ron Robert. We want to say thank you for letting us be a part of it, and we'll see you all again soon. Matt? Good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>